Okay, you might have noticed that uh, the doorbell rang, and uh, I was kind of, I thought I heard footsteps, so I um, can't merge these, um, these videos together anymore, so I'm doing this part too. So, and I, and I kind of like, I'm a little bit like, okay, where was I? But basically, I think I said all I wanted to say is that you may be in a place now where you are much more um, positive about what you can do to attract love into your life and less feeling like you're just out there flailing around. And um, the healing um, advice, if there is need for healing, is represented by the moon card. And so this is a card, um, it's funny because the high priestess and the moon card have similar um, definitions or interpretations where it can be dealing with deception. I would say if this is a card talking about deception, that you need to really be straight with yourself. When you meet somebody, um, see things as they are. Don't try to... It, it's funny because I was just saying that you might be overly critical, but it does depend on the individual Virgo. And some of you, especially if you have a moon in Pisces or something like that, you may have a tendency to be very... Um, <laughs> I was going to say delusional, but that's not a very nice thing to say to somebody. But you may tend to like have an alternative explanation for why something is happening the way that it is. And this can lead to a feeling of um, being very, uh, how can I put it, um, not, not being realistic enough about a person's patterns or the, you know the potential for the relationship um, and I'm saying specifically with Pisces because there can be a tendency with somebody with the moon in Pisces um, to just be overly sympathetic to others and ending up with the wrong type of person in your life um, the other thing too with the moon card it can be about really trusting your intuition you may be so I don't know, grounded, your your ruler is Mercury. So that's kind of like the mental side of life. But you may be so analytical that you don't get into the intuitive side and you like neglect that part of your um, yourself that is supposed to be more discerning. And that can lead to getting involved in bad behavior, in, in bad relationships. And you know, Virgo is the sign of the servant. So you're somebody who really likes to um, help others. And that can also attract takers, people who are looking to get something from you and not give back. And that can lead to like an imbalance in the relationship as well. So, you know, healing comes from awareness. And maybe you just need to tap into the spiritual dimension more in order to connect with your higher self, which the High Priestess is all about. Now, um, these are cards that may be timing issues, maybe the type of person. One of them is the Six of Wands. This is a card. What a beautiful card. I think this is a Six of Wands. Yeah, I mean, this is Wands. Um, this is a card that's associated with marriage. Um, it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. These are all fire signs. That might be the person that you meet. Maybe this is the timing. Uh, maybe it's around the time of the vernal equinox. One of these cards was the lover's card. And the Lover's card connects to Gemini. So if it's somebody who's a Gemini, um, but it could be that, uh, yeah, and so if you want to, or maybe it's a, an extension of that for Six of Wands, that you might meet somebody who really is marriage material or uh, significant other material. The other card here we have is the Five of Wands. So that's kind of a vigorous type of an energy. Um, even meeting them in a setting like working out uh, or some kind of sporting event. That might be because uh, the five of wands can be competition, it, you know, competitive sports. 
it can be a fire sign energy. I always think of Aries when I think of that. So if that makes sense to you. But this could be someone that is a love situation for you. Oh, it's interesting. As you know, it's funny because in the outcome, I got a reverse card. The Father of Wands, which is um, the King of Wands. Uh, so um, in the reverse position, it might mean that this person has um it, it, maybe this is let me pick an uh, a clarifying card with this because i don't think that this would necessarily be a good situation if it's in the reversed position because the king of wands reverse could be someone hopefully it's not your boss <laughs> because kings can be people that are um in that um supervisory mode they can be um, you know so they could be like your superior um, and that might be why it's in the reverse position because it's not a relationship that you want maybe this is somebody that you're already seeing from time to time and you're wondering if this is someone you should pursue and they're telling you it isn't um, but it could be somebody who is just a very controlling type of a person and that that fire energy ends up being kind of like um uh, what's that word that's very like um threatening um oh what's so intimidating like this person may throw their weight around to you know kind of like a ty ty tyrant or something um okay so i got the ace of swords again um maybe a gemini individual and um Perhaps this, this Father of Swords energy is someone who is a bad influence on your life. Now, this could even be your actual father who maybe you need to heal from something from your past. Maybe you had a father who was too controlling and you felt like um, they were very aggressive with you and you didn't feel like you had your own voice. And that may be what is holding you back from, you know, really getting into a relationship at that ultimate level. Maybe at some point on an unconscious level, you push that person away. If they ever show any signs of um, uh, aggression, and it doesn't have to be, you might be hypersensitive to somebody you know, even having the nerve to having their own opinion or something like that. And and this would simply be triggers from the past. So if you need to heal something like that, then you have to heal it. There's no question. But otherwise, I think that the Ace of Swords is really about seeing things as they are. You know, with the Moon and the High Priestess, there might be some um, misperceptions that you have, Virgo, and you need to become more have more clarity of thought because also with law of attraction it's all about knowing exactly what you want okay and that's how you make things happen so i wish you all the best and if you would like a private reading please click on the link below i wanted to say too that that might be a relationship with somebody who is swords and with that gemini that's one of the air signs so gemini libra or aquarius but um, my website is rainamoonastrology.com. The link is below. Have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.